Today's challenge, a chihuahua with social anxiety. The simplest things, she'll be terrified. Alison! It is kind of driving us mad. In London, Yvonne and Peter can't understand why Alison, their eight-year-old chihuahua, is so anxious. Pretty much all of the time. Alison's personality described in one word is probably neurotic. Or to use two words... Extremely neurotic. She's barked at her own reflection. Alison oh. <laughs> is very scared of new people when they come through the door or if they're just walking by. She'll bark like crazy. She'll just bark at everything, bark at everyone. Meanwhile, her relationship with other dogs is complicated. She's very dominant. She has to like go up to every dog to sniff it. And I'd say 70% of the time she will bark at them. And yet the simplest things she'll be terrified and run away from. Originally a rescue pup, Alison's traveled the world with Yvonne. But what's thrown this chihuahua is the arrival of Peter two years ago. Okay. Come on, come on. I'd pretty much, you know, given up trying to pick Alison up, just simply because when I do, she either runs away... Alison, come on, come on. ..or alternatively, she'll cower down and, you know, her head will drop and the tail go between the legs. Come on. But she'll look like she's really freaked out by it. Confused and also a little anxious. Well, at least she's out of the coffee table. <laughs> yeah. Yvonne and Peter are desperate for Victoria's help. As much as we do love Alison, it is kind of driving us mad. Chihuahuas are the world's smallest dog breed. And when you're small like that, everything around you must seem so big. I think that's one of the reasons why Alison's displaying such chaotic behaviour. Hello. Oh, hello, little thing. Oh, have a good smell. That's it. This is called data gathering. Dogs have around 220 million scent receptors in their noses. We have about 6 million. What do you smell there? We call her our problem child. She barks, she's anxious, she's scared. She's hugely antisocial much hmm. of the time. She picks fights with dogs that are much larger than her. Very she got possessive. bit by a husky recently. She got yeah. bit by a husky? I'm surprised she's even here. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't trust me at all. Can I see how she, what she does when you pick? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alison, come here. Weighing no more than six pounds, with a maximum height of 25 centimeters, the only thing big about Chihuahuas is their personality. Generally, they're loyal, intelligent, playful, and extremely vocal. But they're also prone to anxiety and can be suspicious of strangers if they aren't properly socialised. To find out what's making Alison so fearful, Victoria wants to observe her daily routine. Come. Come, Alison. Yvonne is putting Alison into the bedroom whilst they do some chores. Alison does not like being on her own. Hello. 
because this is a basement flat, she's barking at people as they're going past. Look at that tail quivering. Dogs do that when they feel a little anxious, maybe a bit angry. Eventually, Alison's welcomed back into the living room. They're free! Then again, maybe freedom's overrated. She came out of the bedroom and then went right under the table. This dog is really conflicted. Alison. She wants to engage, but she just doesn't have the confidence. I feel like she just doesn't trust Peter and Yvonne very much. But the thing that makes Alison the most anxious is going for a walk. Even just getting ready can be traumatic. Walking is a headache. She hates the leash. She'll pee on the floor. Hmm. So I now will just only do it outside. And she'll scream like a banshee. And sure enough. Oh. oh. Yeah, she doesn't like it. She doesn't. Mm -mm. Oh, look, that's a shake off. <laughs> Every step of the way, Alison's looking decidedly nervous. She clings to the wall. Mm. That's her safe zone. Mm -hmm. Even dogs she can't see can inspire full-blown panic. The hackles on her, her back. Mm -hmm. Should I do something to make her stop? Take her away. That's the best thing. Get her out of the situation and remove her. How many times a day do you walk her? I pretty much don't walk her for the sake of walking her. I feel like it would be a chore if I had to do it regularly. Be honest with me. How much do you not walk your dog? <laughs> Maybe once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. Victoria's face says it all, as does Alison's. So you'll walk her when it suits you? Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see this face? Yeah. OK. What about you, though? <laughs> I don't walk her at all. <laughs> Genuinely, that's punishment for me. Are you embarrassed walking Alison? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. It's just, I mean, she's not really a man's dog. She's a, she is a man's dog. <laughs> But this isn't the only bold claim Peter's making. He's also convinced a dog this small doesn't need walking. The size of the flat for her is, is big. Mm. And so if she runs from one side to the other and runs around the garden, which she does, um, then, you know, it seems like a fair amount of exercise. It would be interesting to ask Alison what she thinks. Oh, I would love to ask her a lot of questions. Yeah. That's good now, because you've got a translator here. Yeah, perfect, yes. <laughs> For a healthy heart, joints and muscles, your average chihuahua needs a daily walk of at least 20 minutes. This will release pent-up energy. Meanwhile, not getting their daily workout can result in boredom and, yes, even anxiety. Which is why this dog trainer is giving these two some stern words. Alison is conflicted. She doesn't trust you. She's understimulated. Because exercise is more than just walking. That for her is absolute wonderful mental enrichment. It's giving her information about her environment. It's releasing a chemical called dopamine into her brain. It makes her feel good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what you're going to see is a knock-on effect. There's going to be less reactive behaviour. There's less barking. There's less being... Mm. Because when you are very small and you are living in a very big world, they're having to negotiate all the time. Desperate for mum and dad's understanding, Alison's behaviour is a cry for help. Sometimes we don't do enough. And I feel you need to do more. We get dogs because we love them, because we want them as companions, but we also have to fit into their lives. You're absolutely right. We have been lazy. You know, we have been lazy about it. 
I didn't even think about the impact it was having on her not having that stimulation. And so if you're ready to work and you promise me that you will continue the work after I've left, that you will especially walk her, then we can get going. Well, I promise to walk her for sure. This one here is lazy, even lazier than I am. <gasps> oh, Yvonne, <laughs> you better walk her. <laughs> But the first thing Victoria wants to tackle is Alison's relationship with Peter. I would love you to be able to pick your dog up without her running away from you. That'd be nice. Let's get down on the ground. She does like her food, so we can use that to motivate her. At the heart of this technique is allowing Alison to feel she has some control over the situation. She does like to do things on her own terms. It just makes her feel safer. Yeah. So I want you to avoid moving towards her mm -hmm. because you're a big guy and when you lean down, that is, that's too much. You have a piece of food in your hand. Could you just call her to you? Alison. 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 OK, and bring her into you. And show her where that treat is and with the right hand and pick her up. Can you give her the treat? That's it. While it's a small step for Chihuahua, it's one giant leap for mankind. I'm so unused to, cut, to holding, holding her. her. Though to really create a bond between these two... Alison, look. What's this? Peter needs to master one more step. So when you do that this time, I want you to say, pick up. Pick up. Because we're starting to teach her a cue, so when she hears that, she knows, oh, I'm going to get picked up. Mm -hmm. Alison. Yeah. You want it? It's OK. That's it. Good. Wait. Pick up. You got it. Good girl. Well done. Beautiful. See, she's much more comfortable with you. Yeah. And after a while, you won't need the food. So as she jumps up, say... Pick up. Good. Well done. Very good. Well done, Alison. I want you to work on making your voice a bit lighter. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good. OK. Pick up. <laughs> <laughs> After two years of struggling to connect with his dog... Alison, pick up. Very good. Well Thank done. You. Peter now has a cue that is already making a difference. I'm quite excited her jumping up onto me. I've never had that bond with her. Pick up. Good girl. Good girl. So, practice this with her just a couple of times a day, and hopefully you'll have no problem picking her up and she will not run away from you. Fantastic. Good girl. The bigger challenge is helping Alison... Oh. oh. <laughs> ..and her parents feel more positive about daily exercise. Oh, this walking is going to be fun. Peter, I assure you it is. You're going to love it. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> so, after eight years of almost none, it begins with swapping her collar for a harness, which for this pint-sized pooch will be much more comfortable. She's not great with body handling, so we have to make this a pleasant experience for her. As you put the harness on Yvonne, Peter's going to be feeding her treats. Maybe just put her on your lap. There you go. That's it. All right. And then you feed her as the harness goes on. So, lovely. Do you have any more treats on you, Peter? I do. OK, can you feed her a treat as you put the lead on? That's it. There we go. Ready for war. This is so simple, I just... I can't believe we didn't think of it sooner. I'm making it really easy for you to take her out for a walk. With Chihuahua and humans already feeling more relaxed, Oh, look at you, you look so happy. The next challenge is negotiating London's busy streets. How's the harness working? It's a lot better because the pressure isn't on her neck anymore. Good. She seems quite comfortable in it. Yes. I didn't realise that the lead on the collar was an issue for Alison. Now we have the harness and it's so much better. Come on, Alison, this way. Also, never miss a chance to reward good behaviour, even just with praise. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if there was a scary noise or a scary person and she doesn't react, tell a good girl, OK? Always give her feedback for when she's doing well. 
But most of all, this needs to be a daily ritual. I mean, she's quite well behaved, actually. Giving Alison a chance to use those 220 million scent receptors in her nose. Making her feel more relaxed and less anxious. Victoria's been quite strict with us, and rightly so. We have been lazy. Walking the dog each day is going to be fine. Put it down on the ground. Peter, it's your turn. Here you My go. My time to shine, hey? It is totally your time to shine. A lovely romantic walk with your manly, manly dog. <laughs> it was really nice to see Pete actually walking Alison because he never does that. It's not like she's a fast walker. A bit like you, really. It's quite slow but she seems to enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I kind of surprised myself, actually. I'll do it first thing in the morning when I wake up. I mean, you know, there's nobody around, so it's fine. The final step is giving Alison a safe place, so there's no need to hide under the coffee table. Come on, come on, come on. The answer, a day bed with a roof close to mum and dad. As you can see, she really likes it. She does. I mean, literally, she's closed her eyes. Look at her. <laughs> Even better, it's portable. With this bed, I feel like there's, there's going to be this growing sense of security that she'll have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and safety. It can be a place that she can go into and feel snug and that you can take with you. This is just a note of caution. Don't ever make her bed a place to go for punishment. Right. I think it's great because we have been feeling the disconnect. So it's going to be really nice to see her closer to us. Mm -hmm. I love it when a plant comes together. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were great parents, but Victoria has shown us um, where we're going wrong. When I first came here, I saw a dog that was a little conflicted, mm. didn't trust you very much. Now, hopefully, you'll just have an easier life with her, mm -hmm. but you have to walk her. Yeah. It's just all about now doing the things that she's told us to do, and I really think that that will make a big difference. Good luck. I will see you again. Great. All Look right? forward to it. Hey, you're welcome. We are definitely going to take more responsibility for Alison because we love her. Over the next few weeks, Yvonne and Peter work hard to be better parents. I wish this was how it always was. But to make sure they're really putting the time in, guess who's back? Hello. Hi. Hello, Hello pretty girl. How are you? Very Great. well, you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. How's it been going? It's been going great. I take her out. She can run for, like, an hour mm -hmm. and not be tired. Mm -hmm. She just loves it. And the walking is a de-stressor, both for you and for her. I see the bed has remained in place. How's that been going? She loves it. So much. I do see a big difference from when I first came here to now mm. that she's much less barky, mm. she's much less stressed. It's reduced her stress, and as a result, it's reduced our stress <laughs> as well. Which leaves just one question. Can you pick her up? You just want to play. That's your problem. You don't want to be picked up. You just want to play. I love that. Well done. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's such a win. It's really lovely to come here and not have a chihuahua that's scared. Alison seems so much happier. And I think your lives are going to be so much easier with her. I'm so pleased to see how confident Alison's become. Yvonne and Peter have put in a lot of work and you can really tell the difference. It just makes me very happy. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.